This game is T and is not suitable for kids. Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to more Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations, everyone. Last time we learned Edgeworth's theory is that Lance kidnapped himself? Elf? <laughs> Marty's theory is that they did it just to get the money. Yes! <laughs> money! Well, One million! One million big More ones. than two 20s. So, that's a lot of 20s. Holy cow. Yeah. Anyhow, so Dude's yeah, this guy. Morning. Sure you were. Looks like a punk. Can you tell us about when you were abducted in a little more detail? It was a strange morning. I felt like I was right in the middle of a great call. And where were you when you experienced this call? Our family garden, of course! Where else could it have been? Well, excuse me for asking. This child was more princess than prince. I was out taking a walk to shake off the morning blob. Then out of the blue, someone came from behind me and clamps a mouth over my a hand over my mouth. A mouth over my hand. <laughs> That's he something very. He just bites his hand. <laughs> you didn't see your attacker. They must have used some drug to knock me out. Because be before I knew it, I was off in La La Land again. Oh, love that movie. When I woke up, I was in the kidnapper's hideout already, all tied up. They had me shut in that room blindfolded. Hold it. Now that I think about it, I never finished La La Land. I got, like, right to the part where there was supposed to be a plot twist, and then I had to go home, because I was at a friend's house, and I had to drive myself home before it restricted hours for yeah. Driver, and they're like, wait, you never finished the movie? The parts I saw were good. Yeah. Lots of dancing, fun. <laughs> they're singing and you hate singing in the rain. I've never seen singing in the rain, but the commercial for singing in the rain that they played in like the great movie ride in Disney's Hollywood Studios made the movie look terrible. Okay, that part in the movie is the very, very, very beginning. Okay, and then okay. the rest of it's I know, great. I know it was made like decades ago when special effects were made, but come on. You oh, couldn't no. have at least recorded it when it was actually raining. It doesn't look it's literally just pure blue. Like, just like, we're seeing it, right? Like, there's no rain. It's literally just they're in a blue room. Hey, we should watch this. By that room, you mean the room in, in the kidnapper's hideout, correct? Yes, but I was blindfolded the whole time, so I didn't know that until I made my escape. Then you were in the same room as your kidnappers? They spoke in hushed tones, but I could catch bits of their conversation. It was definitely two people, and one of them was definitely a woman. Maybe it was just a high-pitched man. <laughs> yeah, like the um, dude alto from Pentatonics. <laughs> I was so scared. I could tell they were nearby, so I didn't dare make a move. Or there's that dude from AHA. Take I have no me. idea what any of these take things are talking about. Me. You don't know Take On Me, that 80s song? You've definitely heard that one. A lot of 80s take songs just me. sound the same, though. Take on me, take. No, I don't. You do, you have got to have heard this before. No, not ringing any bells. Wow. Anyway, the guy is the craziest high voice. Everybody knows it except for Artie. <laughs> A lot of '80s guys had high voices. They did. The kidnappers disappeared. The room fell into a sudden silence. I've been left behind like an unwanted mutt. And what do you mean by unwanted mutt? What a pointless question. It's not like he's gonna tell you anything new, you know. It's a poetic simile. You should learn how to use them, too. You may look refined on the outside. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was the wind blowing his hair. And Just blows. his hair and his bow. <laughs> but it's no good if you're not refined on the inside as well. Well, you're neither, so... <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, he's really, like, whatever. <laughs> My hands are cuffed. Still are. Then those cuffs on your wrists. I suppose you are still cuffed in that case. I'm well aware of how I am chained to reality. I couldn't find the key, so I'm afraid that I'm stuck like this. Even though I escape from that jail cell, I will forever be a prisoner. Um, maybe. Or you, you have these things called locksmiths, or also you can get ten police officers to break it open for you. <laughs> I escaped and ran from it as fast as I could. How did you manage to escape? I wanted to just get out of there, but the door leading outside was locked. Which is why I had to use it, the underground passageway to make my escape. I remember our escape to be equally as hard. This is an invaluable piece of testimony. I mustn't let it go unexamined. How he escaped through the... The underground passageway? But the underground passageway that we had just connected to the room. It didn't connect outside. But his was a different room. 
But it ours connected oh, to this room, I thought. No. Oh, it was just like darkness. I don't think no. By underground passageway, you mean the one that the staff uses to travel unnoticed? I suppose that's what it's for, but I didn't run into any staff members on my way out. And once I was up atop, I was busy trying to find a member of the police. And that is when you found us congregated at the stadium, I suppose. Let me ask you then, how did you get a hold of the key to the underground door? That was easy. It was hanging right there in the room on the wall. I do recall a key hanging on the wall right beside the table. Boy, does that bring back memories of our situation and how we made our escape? Indeed, and although the door to the floor of our room led to an underground room, the door in the floor of the room next door had a secret passageway. A secret passage under a theme park? Oh, that sounds like so much fun! I wonder, is there something off about the way Lance made his escape? Where would you come out of? So do you see it? Um... Oh, the door leaning outside wasn't locked tight. They ha they it was totally fine. They had to break it open with the sword. Right. Objection. <laughs> you say that the door leading out was locked, but was it really? We're talking about that room behind the saloon front, right? Look, I heard that it took quite a few men to get that thing open, right, Sheena? Yes, that's correct. Then take a look at this. What is that? A sword? It's not an especially reliable one if it's broken like that. Allow me to start from the end. My conclusion is that the door was never locked. It was simply held shut by this sword which was used to jam the handle. Lance, even though your hands were cuffed together, you could still use them. If that's the case, then why did you not simply remove the sword and escape? Why didn't I? I was disoriented. Yes, that's it. I didn't notice it. As if I should accept such a bold-faced lie. You locked yourself in that room because you had to make yourself look like the victim. But you did not, in fact, possess the key to the door. That is why you used the prop sword to improvise and create a prison of your very own. You've been making this guy out to be one of the kidnappers for some time now. I wonder if you've forgotten something very important along the way. And what would that be? A motive? What else? Do you honestly think that an upright, pure boy like him would hatch up a completely pointless scheme such as kidnapping himself? Objection! Money. Money, ma'am. This proves that Lance did indeed have a motive to commit the crime. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Uh, he had an obsession with, with horse badgers. pendants. <laughs> or horse pendants. I mean, okay, there's two... Pendants, one for his girlfriend and one for his butler. butler. <laughs> oh, maybe he was like, Gee, I gotta sell them. <laughs> well, maybe he didn't realize that the two of them were related. He's like, Why do they have matching pendants? Pretty weird. Because she's got Mrs. Pops as her. <laughs> Welcome to Mrs. Mr. Pops, Pops Candy, candy Shop. shop. So I'm a terrible business owner, so I'm not making any money. I'm giving candy away for free. If I don't change my business model, I'll have to close up the shop. Oh, man. <laughs> well, and, like, it could be that. And then they're like, why? maybe he's like, why is this creeper dude, like, giving her a pendant and being weird? But if she, he didn't know that they were father-daughter. Or maybe he Or knew, he wanted to steal the boy. Or maybe bike. he knew that this dude was in uh, prison was like, I can grab this dude. Oh, do you think that's it? Maybe. What? Wait, what did he do? Come back. I don't think he, it tells us. Whereabouts are unknown after his escape. He was in prison for some reason. Right. Why would he have been in prison? Yeah. He had to have done something. That is the boy's motive? You lawyer types sure have active imaginations. That type of flimsy logic may work in court, but it'll never stand up to my strict scrutiny. Nyah! This wolf's bite is far worse than his bark. <laughs> Serves you right. Look, this boy has no motive whatsoever. That's where you're wrong, and I have the evidence to prove it. Uh-huh. Um... Maybe he's a really stupid motive where he's like, maybe if I kidnap these people, make them dress up as the badgers... Part. I can get all the badger things and get my prize. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's something stupid. It's not, it's I'm pretty. guessing it's not that. Is it that he wanted to kill his butler? Be 
because this is not motive to kill the butler. It's motive to commit kidnap this himself. crime. Kidnap himself. Um, can we look at his profile? No. Oh crap! Oh, the love letter. Take that. Yeah. No, I'm an idiot. To put it simply, Lance has a very urgent need for money. This is hardly your typical love letter. It is in fact a collections bill. It appears our upstanding boy has accumulated quite a debt. Isn't that right, Lance? Actually, I didn't know that. I just thought, oh, maybe this girl is like mooching in the way, and he's like, no, and then like he's trying to. <laughs> Looks like it's hard being the son of a rich man too. It must be rough when you have to resort to stealing from your old man, huh? Yeah, all right, I give up. I abducted myself. Lance! It's over, Lolly. In this life, we really are bound to our fates after all. All I wanted was to go out with you to a new town, somewhere where no one would know us. I wanted us to be well off with that one million dollars, but now, that dream is over. Oh, Lance! Then you are giving yourself up? Yes, I'd planned to run away from this world with my lolly. His lolly pop. <laughs> Oliver even helped us with the plan, but then he had to go and stab us in the back! He turned on you? Maybe he didn't want to split the ransom money. That's my guess. It happened almost right after you made the drop off. When we were alone, he attacked me all of a sudden! After a brief struggle, I was able to contain him and keep him under control. We left him inside that room as Lolly and I made our escape. We wore different costumes and split up. Wait, I love this picture. <laughs> oh. uh, I don't know if this is a good idea. You shut up. They also look so sweaty. Like, these costumes are so hot. They are. Oh. And Lance, I just realized, Lance looks like that dude from uh, Twilight Town that rocks the snow. Oh, the Pence. Pence, that's him. He's yeah, like, a little bit. He's got Pence the is hair. nicer, though. Right, it's like, oh, man. Yeah. She also looks like, yeah. Yeah. She either looks really stressed or like she's gonna have a heat stroke. <laughs> she literally just looks like, are you sure are this you is sure a good idea? He's like, what? <laughs> I don't know, I'm sweating in the store. Well, you left first in the Blue Badger costume. That would mean that the person all Officer Meekin saw was Miss Pops. But right then, the old man just had to wake up. I was careless and he tackled me pretty hard from behind. Then Oliver put on a bad Badger costume, took the suitcase with the million dollars and ran. I contacted Lolly right away and warned her that he had a gun. They had no idea that they were related, so I thought that it could only end badly. I still don't believe it! That person was not my father! Because, because if he was, I, I just killed my own father! Lolly, then, then it really was you? Oh boy. Things getting interesting now. Chain she ran, of him, she ran him over with the, the super slow cart. So how does that explain the fact that he had a bullet through his body? Then she shot him just to be sure. <laughs> She's like, I think you did, but let's just make sure that this is real. <laughs> autopsy report did not find like, Ed, or actually, do, we don't have the autopsy. It's just this is this is investigating. How not slow autopsy. would you have to run somebody over so that there would be no bruises? On <laughs> It's like one mile an hour. Yeah. <laughs> it's like those torture devices where it's like you're laying down and strapped in and then it's like, um. So if you fought but asking anybody at the prom, yeah? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, that, that, one, that one, that's exactly it. <laughs> wow. Uh, she's like, I'll do it, I swear, I'll cut my hair. That man was not my father. I mean, because at the stadium... There was a bad badger pulling the suitcase with the one million dollars in it. But that badger pointed his gun at me and aiming to shoot me dead. That's why I, I used the gun I got from Lance. There was a gunshot. The other person crumpled into the ground and I ran scared for my life. This poor girl. There was a gunshot that she didn't shoot? That's weird. No, I think it came out of her gun. She said there was a gunshot, not I shot, shot him. <laughs> not I shot him. I think the big picture is finally coming into focus, don't you? I like it when people actually admit their wrongdoings in this. <laughs> yeah, normally it's we, refreshing, Normally isn't we it? have to be like, <sighs> like dragging people but, by But the remember, teeth. Marty, this is still the end part one. Well, it could be that there's some manipulation going on here. 
where it's like, oh, this is what we want oh, you to... Uh, this is what Sheena we want you paid to her to say that. Yeah, <laughs> literally, it could be something like that. <laughs> Molly, forgive me. I didn't think it would turn into something so frightening. If only, if only I could have protected you. So, Miss Pops, she shot her own dad without knowing who he really was? Why the happy voice? I was not happy! That was kind of happy. <laughs> she, I'm trying to sound still like Kay. Fair enough. I don't know. If what she says is true. Are you saying she's lying? But why would she lie about something like that? What purpose would it serve? You would be surprised how often people lie without even realizing it themselves, Kay. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? What I mean is listen very carefully to her confession once more and you'll see. She's like, man, I don't want to have to repeat all of this with all the emotions. Don't cut your hair. Bald hair is cute on girls. You don't like short hair? I didn't say I didn't like short hair, but I like long hair on girls more. Oh, okay. Cool. But keep that in mind, ladies watching the video. <laughs> ladies were like, you want to how, seduce can I, the how can I meet Artie? <laughs> <laughs> Just give me two 20s. <laughs> Just give him two 20s. <laughs> no. That's like the secret code where it's like, you know you watch my videos, you just slip me two 20s. Like, I know. I know. If, if our channel ever got, your channel, if, our, if your channel ever got big enough that you're like, I'm at a convention. I, I don't want to show my face in public. Though. You can like I don't wear want a people mask. to know what <laughs> I wear. I have to be that. Like, Majora's Mask or something. Yeah, like just wear, like dress up and do that. Or you could dress up as the Blue Badger. Yeah, no. No. Or you could, <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of something that would be cool. You could dress up as Rob. From I like Rob. I like Rob. You can just have like the weird, and then you don't have to talk to people too, because Rob's a robot. <laughs> Please calm down and let's slowly talk through this. But what I? All you have to do is simply tell us what happened at the stadium. Leave it to us to search out the truth. Can you do that for me? All right. So at the stadium. <laughs> I, this girl is so weird, but also kind of oh, endearing. She's, she's got great. The, she's got the, the engagement ring pop. I love the engagement ring pop. <laughs> that was the ransom money, wasn't it? Yes, that's how I was able to identify Mr. Deacon almost immediately. Because <laughs> keep in mind, the ransom is in, like, the really ugly, ugly suitcase, suitcase that Miss Tenero gave us. Yeah, he's like, how can I possibly get rid of this thing? I know! What else is- okay, so it could be like, oh, Edward's kind of rude just, like, giving it away like that, but also- sure. It's pretty distinctive, like, nobody has that suitcase, so if you see that suitcase, you're like, I know that's mine, I know that's got the money in it, I know yeah. you're involved. It's not yeah. like when you're at the airport at, like, the ring around. Where it's like, is that my suitcase? Like, no, nope, that's that just has, another person's black has, suitcase with a blue ribbon tied to it. That has a tag that says cats on it, and that's not mine. Oh, it could be that one, and you're like, everyone's just- Nope, this just, person likes fish. <laughs> you know what they should do? Whenever there's, like, the suitcases going around the, the ring, they should have music that plays. Because everyone's already standing around there, just like awkwardly looking for their suitcase. They might as I know well the play. perfect song to play. What? The Mary Kory music from Mario 64. Da 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 Oh, that would be good. Or the Mary Kory music from Roller Coaster Tycoon. Do 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 do. That would really get on the flight attendants here. Yeah. Well, the the flight attendants were like, "Give me my dang bag! I need to get a connection flight." Oh. It was all thanks to what Lance told me. And what did he tell you? Well, he called me on my cell phone and told me that Mr. Deacon had betrayed us and had run off with the ransom money. And about how he had a gun! Yes, guns, the badge guns are- The pointed his gun! <laughs> are you like, I wish it was a Five Nights at Freddy's like animatronic? I kind of do, actually. <laughs> that would be very would've funny. Would've been really cool. <laughs> this was also made- came out way before Five Nights at Freddy's. This yeah. is 2009. Yeah. Year before Ghost Trick. Oh. Were, were you able to clearly see the gun? Yes, I got a very good look at it while I, it was pointed at me. Oh, father, why would you try and shoot me? Do you really think a father would shoot his own daughter, Mr. Edgeworth? I don't know. I don't want to believe it myself, but it's true. Father's left arm was raised with a gun in it. <laughs> no, I knew it! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! This would be the thing that would come out. <sighs> Thanks for the freak out. <laughs> I knew that that would be important. Who puts on the report? Oh, 5'8", 123.8 pounds, left-handed. He was right-handed. He was right-handed, right. But yeah, if it was right versus left, that would be <laughs> Miss Pops, please calm down and take a deep breath. And then would you allow me to please hear that last statement one more time? Yes, of course. 
What flavor ring pop do you think that is? Oh, um... Watermelon? Yes. Oh, uh, no, wait, watermelon's green. No, it's not. Yes, Watermel it is. Have you ever had watermelon Jolly Ranchers? Those are pink. No, but the ring pops? The ring, the ring Green pop ring pops are like apple or vine, no, right? they don't have apple-flavored ring pops. No wonder ring pops suck. <laughs> you don't like ring pops. I got a fair share of ring pops whenever we'd go to, like, the cider mill or whatever. Oh, that's how day. you prom post to somebody. Give them an engagement ring pop. That would be so cute. See, oh, and skywriting. Because if you no, don't have skywriting, no. it's not a prom post. You don't need skywriting. But, like, <laughs> seriously, I, I don't understand promposals because you don't need much. You can get a ring pop or just, like, show up... Get her a Hershey's and be like, here you go, go to prom. Why do people watch her videos? We just spent half the videos talking about dumb things no one cares about. But everybody cares about promposals. <laughs> promposals are so stupid. I bet nobody. They're so stupid. I've never been proposed. Just go, hey, want to go to the prom with me? And I have a yes or no. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's as complicated as That's what happened to me. And you felt that your life was in danger, correct? Yes. I'm about to die. I thought so, so... That's okay. I just wasn't people people make a big stink about gun violence. If you are in a situation where you are about to die, that's you're justified to shoot the person. Yeah. It's it's not it is, ideal, but it's not ideal and definitely if I was in the situation I'd still be like but shooting is wrong, but they're going to shoot me. But two wrongs make a right, make a wrong, ugh, and like just freak out. At that now if you're in a situation like that, you're not thinking rationally. It's literally instinct, basically. Yeah. You shot Mr. Deacon. How's the church going to find a new one? <laughs> Miss Pops. Yes. I shot him. <laughs> and that, as they say, is that. Stop laughing at this girl's traumatized reaction. Agent Lane, Miss Pops is far from done. She hasn't even finished her testimony yet. You're gonna continue questioning her? What a waste of time. Maybe this guy was like, gonna dress up in a bad badger suit and shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> That's the shoot. worst music video ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually not even in the top no, 20. That so. would be, no, like, what does the fox say? It would be like the sequel to that, but it's just What does badgers. the wolf do? No, but it's just badgers dancing around holding guns. <laughs> and shoot, shoot. <laughs> I don't the know. Worst. That is the worst. <laughs> it is the worst, but it's the we internet. The that would happen. It would. Miss Pops, if you please. Alright. There was a gunshot, and the other person crumpled to the ground. <laughs> Did you take off immediately following the gunshot? Yes. And you didn't attempt to approach the victim at all after he was shot? I. I was scared. I don't blame you. I would have done the exact same thing. Poor Miss Pops. What will become of her, Mr. Edgeworth? She seems to be telling the truth regarding what happened at the stadium. However, I don't believe it to be absolutely correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. We Listen, haven't seen more from him. Is he's this gonna be like Scooby Doo, where it's like, oh, remember that character they introduced? Remember Old Man Smivers? <laughs> then you forgot about him, and then it's like, let's see who the culprit is. Whoosh. And then it's him, and you're like, what? Listen very carefully to her confession once more, and you'll see. Yeah, yeah. It's because of the left hand! Left hand! Yes! Knew it. Got him. I have here a dossier on your father. And according to this, your father was right-handed. That doesn't mean you can't shoot with your left. But it just means it's really hard. Uh, then... The person pointing a gun at you from atop the stage was not Mr. Deacon. Not so Who else died? Hold on there, Mr. Prosecutor. I think you need to take a refresher course. The Bad Badger has a model gun attached to his right hand. Which is why the only hand he could have held the real gun in was with his left. Is it possible that it went down like that? Except the stitching's gone. Agent Lane, were you paying attention to what Miss Pops was saying? Then again, I suppose I can't expect someone who has never set foot in court to catch it. Ooh! <laughs> oh, yes! That is good! I like Savage Edge. That's him, like, 80% of the time, though. Yeah, <laughs> but, but I miss Edgeworth in actual court. Enough with the smugness. Out with it already. Miss Pops told us earlier... There was a Bad Badger boiling the suitcase with one million dollars in it. According to you, the Bad Badger had the gun in his left hand. Which would mean that he was pulling the suitcase with his right hand. Is that correct, Miss Pops? Yes. 
exactly. And I'm sure it was the bad badger! It had those huge sunglasses on its face! But if that's the case, even I can see there's a huge contradiction. Yes, Miss Pops claims to have seen the bad badger. And yet the bad badger had both of his hands full. These two pieces of information contradict each other, so one must oh, be wrong. Maybe one somebody had the wrong head on. Oh. Maybe someone had the glasses, but then had a different body, body suit. So Ooh. then it, his hands could be full. Because there was that one head that was sitting next to Edgeworth when we woke up where I'm like, this is getting creepy. But <laughs> it was a bad badger hat, wasn't it? At the beginning of Edgeworth? Yeah. No, that was Proto Badger. That was Proto. Uh, no, uh, was it? The one sitting who's next to us? Sitting next to us when we woke up. Oh, no, that was, that was the bad badger's head. Yeah, I think that could be it. Yo, yeah, man. bad badger head. He's which a I think, blue beard. I bet that means he either put on the proto head accidentally. See, I wish we could see that cutscene again from the beginning where we almost got stabbed. That was just proto badger who did that. Mm. Oh boy. Miss Pops, what you saw was not the bad badger. Think back and recall which character was it that leveled the gun at you. But it was wearing a pair of sunglasses and it had that strange blue beard. That sums up the bad badger pretty well, I'd say. Too bad for you, but it looks like the Bad Badger wasn't the mistake here. Nah! I need to think carefully about the facts here. Miss Pops claims to have seen the Bad Badger, and yet the Bad Badger had both of his hands full of something or another. Holding a gun in his right hand as he pulls the suitcase with the same hand, isn't it possible for a right-handed person to do both things simultaneously? Your deduction is full of one too many conjectures, don't you think, Mr. Prosecutor? You're the one who's like, we don't have evidence, who cares? Who Arrest cares? Them. Arrest them! Ah! I suppose it is pretty difficult, if not impossible. It would appear that both of the Badger's hands were occupied. Yet Miss Pops claims to have seen the Bad Badger. They are both correct. Impossible! That just leaves us with an irresolvable contradiction! Miss Pops' entire statement rests on the fact that she saw his sunglasses and beard. But what if that bad badger wasn't wearing pants on his lower half? Yeah! <laughs> Streaking! Arrest that guy. This proves that there was a way for the bad badger to freely use both of his hands. And then this is immediately making me think of Avatar with the, like, Luke from seeing the Fire Lord, and you're not even wearing, wearing pants! <laughs> <laughs> Get your head on straight, Mr. Prosecutor. That doesn't show me diddly squat. I knew it. What I saw was just a Wait, I can explain! Miss Pops said the Bad Badger had a gun in his left hand and the suitcase in his right. But the Bad Badger costume has a model gun attached to its right hand. To be fair, it is stitched it out. Right. The stitches were removed, so it could just be that he was like, this the... Sure. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Which is what created this contradiction about which hand did what. Her entire statement rests on the fact that he saw. She saw, not he. He saw, she saw, she saw by the seashore. The costumes have two parts to them, a head and the body. Oh, I get it now! The head Miss Pop saw was probably really the head of the bad badger. However, is it not possible that the body was that of an entirely different badger? A different badger? Yes, or to put it more bluntly, I believe it was the lower half of this badger. The lower half of this badger? The body of, <laughs> of the bad badger belonged to this guy. Well, it would make no sense I don't see a badger where you're pointing, do you? Uh, wow! <laughs> girls aren't really well, badgers. badgers! Sorry, my finger must have slipped due to ex excessive force. Ooh, my shoe's untied! <laughs> Allow me to try again. The person who keeps His head may have been the bad badger, but his body was the blue badger's. The blue badger? Hold on, let's see here. Who was it that had one of these on? I did. And so did Officer Meekin's pal. <laughs> Wait, where did Gumshoe come from? He's been here, he just hasn't talked. Oh, Gumshoe's just been awkwardly standing. <laughs> yeah. Nice try, but your logic is just a tad illogical. Officer Meekins has been placed under arrest after all. W wait! I'd like to strike what I just said from the record and give my explanation anew. What? The heck is that? Oh, it's her. Sheena. I couldn't read. It's the proto-badger. Yes, and it's a simple matter of process of elimination. 
Miss Pops was wearing the blue badger's costume, so we can eliminate that one. And the pink badger is of the wrong color, so it would have been incredibly obvious. All that is left is the proto badger costume. Miss Pops, who was the one who wore the proto badger costume? That would be Lance. Are you saying what I think you are? That Lance Amano donned the Bad Badger's head and pretended to be Mr. Deacon? On top of which he plotted to shoot Miss Pops while wearing that hideous thing? The stage that was set up in the stadium was nothing more than that, a setup. And its purpose was to lead Miss Pops into believing she had committed murder. How do these... How do people come up with these ideas? To the point of they were like, wait, we gotta well, make they had a, a whole game. Set. They had a whole game development team behind them. <laughs> okay, but like actual people, because some people do crazy stuff like this. Yeah. Probably. Those people tend to be long term planners. Like Sheev Palpatine. Wow. <laughs> Standing there in front of Miss Pops and pretending to be the victim, it was all done so that she would pull the trigger. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Why exactly would I have done all that, huh? There is but one reason. Lance Amato. You are the real culprit behind the murder of o Oliver Deacon. What? No! That's slander! Take it back! You take it back right now! Just out of curiosity, Lance, which is your dominant hand? I'm left-handed. But, but what does that have to do with anything? It depends. According to Miss Pops, her attacker held a gun in his left hand. Ha! Who is what hand? It doesn't prove a thing. And besides, now you're just being absurd. Why that's absurd! It's not like the Proto Badger is bulletproof. One misfire and he would have found himself dead, right? That would be hilarious if it was bulletproof. Of course, logically, if he had been shot, he probably wouldn't be here with us. But I believe he had thought of that as well and prepared accordingly. And this should be all the evidence you need. This is how Lance made sure he wouldn't be hit by the bullet. He took the gun off the other costume. And then was like, I'm gonna shoot! And then- He took the lamb of the poor man. Wow. Of the poor lamb? He took the poor lamb's lamb? Poor lamb! Oh no, I'm such a poor <laughs> lamb, I live one lamb! <laughs> it's like Cookie Monster, I'll just have myself the three of them! <laughs> he prepared this, thinking he could set it up and use it to protect himself. That's completely illogical! Besides, you think it would have been mentioned in one of the testimonies by now? Hmm. Lance was pointing a gun, meaning it's unlikely he was using some sort of barrier. May need to, to turn my entire logic on this upside down. Do you really think he had a way to prevent himself from being shot? It's not impossible, especially if he used this. Take that. We found one half of a bad badger costume in the hideout, a broken one. It was not the same one that the victim was wearing, plus it was missing something. And that something is the model gun that the Bad Badger carries, which can fire blanks. W what? Miss Pops, where is the gun you use now? I... I threw it away into the sea. That... makes it a bit tough to verify what it was. Although I believe we can safely assume that it was the model gun in question. But she threw it into the sea! I've heard enough! All you've been spouting so far is pure conjecture. I admit that as long as the model gun is lost to us, I can't prove I'm right. However, I can say that the probability that I am right is very high. Okay, let's pretend you're right and that the murder at the stadium was a fabrication. In that case, where do you think the murder really took place, Mr. Prosecutor? I... don't know yet. Ha! I knew you were full of it. However, I do believe that the murder took place during the, an earlier time frame. Please, wait a second! It's simply not possible! Because... because... I saw Mr. Deacon after he was restrained by Lance! She saw the victim in the state of being restrained. Another so testimony! Many testimonies. What Miss Pop saw! I came back to the hideout long after the other two. By that time, Lance had already subdued and restrained Mr. Deacon. He had tied Mr. Deacon securely to the beam in the room next door! After that, the two of us put on our costumes and made our escape. The room next door! That would mean we were in the same room as him. Yep. So Mr. Deacon must have escaped after the two of you left, right? We thought that it'd attract too much attention if we left together, so I left first. 
We planned to meet up again at the stage in the stadium. But then, as I was walking through the park, I got a call from Lance on my cell phone. Oliver managed to escape. It looked like he was waiting until I was alone. He also stole the gun from me at that time. Okay then, and then the murder happened. Mr. Deacon must have overheard their plan to meet up at the stage. Well, Mr. Prosecutor, Miss Pop saw the victim with her own eyes. Which means that the victim was still alive at that time, wouldn't you agree? Why does that sound wrong to me? There must be something to miss about this account. Let's see what happens when I examine it in more detail.